Bob Garvin, the founder of a technological company, plans on retiring after his company merges with a larger one. Tom, the production line manager, anticipates getting promoted to lead the CD-ROM division. Instead, Meredith, Tom's ex-girlfriend, gets promoted to the position. Meredith calls Tom to her office to discuss some business matters and forces herself on him. He tries to reciprocate, but then rejects her. Meredith threatens to make him suffer for turning down her. The next day, Tom finds out that Meredith has filed a sexual harassment complaint against him with legal counsel Philip. To avoid controversy, Digico management officials demand that Tom accept transfer to another location. If Tom does this, he will give up his stock options in the new company. His career will be destroyed because the other location is set to be sold following the merger, leaving Tom jobless. Tom receives an email from someone who is only identified as a friend. It refers him to Catherine, a Seattle attorney who specializes in sexual harassment cases. Tom decides to sue Digicum, claiming that Meredith harassed him. The first mediation session goes badly for Tom, as Meredith blames him. Garvin suggests that Tom drop the matter so that he does not have to transfer. This leads Tom to believe that Meredith's charges are flawed. Tom remembers misdialing a number on his cell phone during his appointment, and Meredith throwing his phone, but not hanging up, accidentally recording the whole thing on a colleague's voicemail. At the next meeting, Tom plays the recording and discredits Meredith. Digicom agrees to a settlement in which Meredith will be quietly eased out after the merger is completed. While Tom is celebrating his apparent victory, he receives another email from a friend, warning that not everything is as it seems. Tom overhears Meredith talking to Philip that even if they slipped him through the harassment accusation, they'll make him look incompetent at next morning's merger conference. If the problems with the CD-ROMs are traced back to the production line, which Tom is in charge of, he may be fired for reason. Tom tries to search the company database for information about the conversation he overheard. His access privileges, however, have been revoked. He recalls that the management of the merging firm have a Digicom virtual reality presentation equipment in a hotel room with access to company records. He breaks in to utilize it, but as he enters Digicom's data, he notices Meredith deleting them. Unsure what to do, Tom receives a phone call from a Malaysian colleague who provides him with copies of incriminating documents and recordings. They show Meredith plotting with the head of operations in Malaysia to modify the facility and specifications Tom has put in place so that difficulties with the CD roams will ruin Tom's career. When Tom gives his presentation at the conference and Meredith brings up the production issues, he exhibits the memos and a video that expose her role in producing hardware flaws. Meredith claims Tom is waging a last-ditch effort to exact revenge on her. Meredith must now be fired by Garvin, who passes over Tom and names Stephanie Kaplan to the post. Despite his desire for the role, Tom is happy that his colleague has been promoted. Tom asks, Stephanie's son, Spencer, if he knows a friend. Spencer says he is Arthur Friend's research assistant at college. Tom realizes Spencer accessed Friend's office computer, implying Stephanie is the friend through her son. Tom returns to his old job in the production division, satisfied. Thanks for watching. To catch all the latest from us, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as a new video drops. We'll see you in the next one.